welcome to Learning Mode. Today we're thinking about fractions and we're really going to focus on fractions of numbers in this lesson, specifically quarters. Now what I really like to do is I like to use things from around the house because I think it's really important that your child is using equipment that they have an interest in and we love Lego and little figures in our house so this is just an ideal activity for Aaron. Oh, killed the squirrel. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to really explore fractions. We're going to do it very, very orally, very visually, very practically and really the idea of telling a story so that your child can see put fractions in context, can relate it to real life scenarios and really, really get that lovely deep understanding. Okay, so you've got these four guys. You've got one bar of chocolate but the chocolate actually can be split up into squares, so into different fractions, okay? So I want to know if I was to split this up into quarters, because remember quarters are how many pieces? How many pieces? Four. Four. Quarters are four pieces. So you want to really clarify all this with your child. Four pieces. If I want to share this bar of chocolate with these guys, how much are they going to get each? How many squares? What is one quarter of four? Can you break it up and share, share it with them? Actually, physically allow your child to break it up and share them. They may not immediately know the answer because I see Aaron looking at it going, mm, I'm not 100% sure. This gives them that lovely, solid confidence and reassurance that what they're thinking is correct. So I want to know what one quarter, I have four squares. I want to know what one quarter of, of four is. What is one quarter of four? How many squares do they get each? One. One. So he gets a quarter. Mm -hmm and he gets a quarter, and he gets a quarter, and he gets a quarter, and they all get one each. I think that's a two. That's a girl, oh sorry, that's a girl. And how many quarters makes one whole bar of chocolate? Four. Four, okay, good boy, well done. Okay, now, they liked that chocolate, but they'd rather have honeycomb chocolate. And look what you've got, a lovely big bar of honeycomb chocolate. Now, how many squares is in your honeycomb chocolate? Okay, this time I want to know, do you think they're going to get more squares each or less squares? More squares. Why? Because if they got less squares, there'll be zero squares, so we would have got none squares. Uh, no quarters. Okay, good boy. So I want to know this time, what is a quarter of eight? I want to know each of these guys is going to get a quarter. How many does that mean? How many squares does that mean? Now, if you need to do it one by one, that's absolutely fine. You can do it in twos, you can do it whatever way you want. And again, allow your child to explore it in different ways. Okay, right, share them and see if it's right. Now, you remember, each quarter has to be equal, so one person can't have one square and one person has four. So you have to be careful. And again, with the Lego, you can immediately see whether your um, squares of chocolate are equal or not. Are they equal? <laughs> what is one quarter of eight? One quarter of eight, two. Yeah. Two, okay. What's two quarters of eight? Two quarters of eight? Mm-hmm. So he's Four. got a quarter and he's got a quarter. What's two quarters? Four. So you can now move into that more challenging idea of what's one quarter, what's two quarters, which again is very, very difficult if you're just trying to do it um, mentally, whereas when you can actually physically see it, you can hold the squares, you can count the squares, you can move them around, you can actually do that with your child, it makes so much more sense. I want to know what three quarters of eight, of, um, eight is. Hmm. Six. Six. Can you show me three quarters? Can you show me the guys with their three quarters? Move them out, off. So here's a guy, look, he's got one quarter. Who, show me another quarter. Yeah, show me another quarter. Okay, count them, how many quarters do you have? One, two, three. How many squares does that mean? Six. So you can do all that lovely, there's so much power in being able to do that with your child, of actually being able to physically move that and see it and really understand fractions and what they actually mean. So do enjoy challenging your child and asking them all those different questions. And it's also really good for exploring equivalence, but I will address that in another video as well. But do have fun and actually you can create it, you can have 16 blocks, you can have 20, and just keep on exploring that fraction and really get that lovely solid understanding. Mm -hmm.